Well, I've got here a worn 9.5 XP winch uh, that I, my brother and I are going to do a little bit of a rebuilding on. There's nothing wrong with it. It still works fine. Free spool uh, still works good. Uh, it's just been, it's been on the truck for nine years. Uh, never had a problem with it, but we're going to go ahead and take it apart, uh, check and make sure that there's no water in the housing anywhere, uh, put some new grease in there, clean up the terminals, and just sort of freshen it up. So. Uh, we'll get started on that and I'll just keep filming as we uh, get it apart and put it back together. We're going to start over here with the uh, the end housing. Uh, that's what Warren calls it. Uh, I generally call it the planetary housing. But we're going to start by pulling the uh, the engagement lever off. And it just has one little uh, Allen head bolt in there. And then the lever just pops off just like that. Now that we have the lever off, uh, we're actually going to remove the planetary housing itself. Now there's 10 Allen head bolts. Uh, that secure the planetary housing to the drum support. Those are the 10 bolts right there. They're about two and a half inches long. So we just thread these out and then we'll be able to uh, separate the planetary housing uh, from the drum support bracket. Now we're gonna move on to actually separating the two drum support housings. And I'll point these out in just a second. That's one of the drum support housings and the other one is on the other side. Now the pieces in between are called the tie rods, so we're just unbolting them. It's another Allen head bolt, just like we just removed uh, from the planetary housing. We've left the tie rods connected to one side of the drum uh, support housing just uh, to make things simple. So now we can separate that and uh, look at the inside of our drum. Now, everything looks okay. There looks to be a little bit of rust, but that's really contained within the grease, so it should come off easily. Inside the drum support housing, there is a plastic bushing uh, that keys into a little notch on the inside there of the drum support housing. So now we can pull the drum off of there. Also, I'd like to point out there is a rubber gasket on the inside of the drum support housing and another uh, plastic bushing uh, that again is keyed uh, off the drum support housing. This is the last step in disassembly. We need to remove the motor from the drum support housing. Now there's two long bolts in there and they thread all the way through the motor into the drum support housing. Now we used a ratchet to uh, break the bolts loose. We're just using a nut driver right now to uh, pull them out. Uh, it's a 3 8 inch uh, head on that bolt. So now we'll just get this drum support housing separated from the motor and we'll be all ready. So uh, now I'll take you inside the planetary housing and I'll show you how that works. Okay, I'm going to show you real quick how to reassemble the whole planetary assembly on this worn winch. And I'm going to do it uh, just before we go in and uh, put some new grease on these things. So what I've already done is I put this little slide collar inside the end housing and I've put the lever back on with the bolt. Now, right now it's in the engaged position. And you can see that this little collar engages with some teeth cast in there down at the end of the, uh, uh, the planetary housing. So I can't turn that. When I rotate it to the free spool position, now I can rotate this uh, slide ring. So, but I'll put it back down in the, into the engaged position. First thing I'm gonna do is put the sun gear back in there like that. Then we go with the first stage planetary. We slide that in place. Kind of spin it just to make sure it's uh, not binding on anything. Then we go with the second stage planetary. And again, Drop that in place. Give it a spin. Everything's moving just fine. So then we have a new gasket on here. So we put the gasket in place, line it up with the holes. Then we put our ring gear uh, back in place. Now this actually does spline onto this end housing right here. You can see the, uh, the teeth here on the end. And it does spline in there. So you got to get the splines to line up and the bolt holes to line up. So go ahead and do that so we got that in place then we take our third stage planetary assembly and this can be a little bit tricky you do have to fiddle with the gear teeth a little bit to get them to line up we're getting close 
There we go. So that's in place. And then the last thing is this little ball gear. This actually gets driven on these outer teeth here of the third stage planetary and it matches up uh, with another set of teeth uh, on the drum itself. So what I've done here is I've just put the uh, hexagonal little shaft and I've just connected it to a drill motor here and I'll show you how slowly this planetary gear set actually spins. And this drill is not very fast, it's, it's about 1200 RPM. But that's how much power you get in gear reduction from this planetary housing. And this, like I said, this little about at most 3 8 inch shaft is all that drives this winch, which pulls 9,500 pounds. So, so that's how it goes back together. I'm going to take this apart and we're going to start greasing everything up and uh, then we'll finish reassembling the rest of the winch. And for grease, uh, we weren't able to find exactly what Warren uses, so we just found this uh, this marine grade uh, grease at our local auto parts store. So that's what we're going to be using uh, to reassemble this planetary housing. So the footage here has obviously been sped up, and that's simply because we're just putting new grease on everything and don't want to waste your time. So this is the slide gear, uh, the slide ring, and we're just reinstalling that. And here in a second, we will uh, reinstall the lever. Now that actually has a little cam button on it. Uh, that when you rotate the lever, it actually slides the ring uh, up and down to engage and disengage the clutch. And you'll see that here in just a second. So here you can see the, that slide gear moving up and down as I move the lever from the engaged position to the free spool position. So again, just applying more grease uh, to the parts. Uh, the part in my brother's hand right now is the... Uh, first stage planetary and that little groove right there needs to face up on that plastic bushing and here we are we're just putting in the third stage uh, planetary assembly we've uh, edited out uh, installing the second stage it's just like putting in the first and then here we are spinning up the planetary housing uh, just to make sure that the grease is all spread around in there So we're putting the gasket on the planetary housing and we're fixing to bolt it back on into place. Now we do have to uh, clock uh, the planetary housing so that the lever is in the correct position uh, for the opening that's on top of the bumper so that you can reach in there and uh, throw that lever to uh, engage or to uh, free spool the winch. So we've got the winch reinstalled into the truck and as you can see here we're just feeding the line back in. We did replace the braided steel winch cable with the new synthetic winch rope and since our rollers on the fair lead were kind of marred up uh, we had to replace uh, the rollers with the new Delrin plastic rollers uh, for our new synthetic winch rope. So I appreciate y'all watching and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe.